Okay, thank you for stopping by here. My name is Will Stoff. If you can check out my website, Stoff Solutions, this is kind of my first video that I'm putting on my blog. So I want to talk a little bit about my experience with Nerium. I have quit Nerium. I was on it, Nerium, for about a year. This is my first multi-level marketing company. This is my first time I ever really got involved with it. Maybe you're in that stage right now. Maybe this is the first time that you decided to get involved in network marketing. Is it a failure? Well, I felt like I had to leave the company. There was a lot of things going on at the top of the company as far as management is concerned. There were a couple of lawsuits going on. I don't want to get into too many details about that, but I talked to a couple of big earners in my upline that were making $35,000 a year, and it was time for me to leave. And I just couldn't, in good conscience, get people signed up to a company that I knew was in the process of winding down and might not possibly be there anymore. I just couldn't do it. I absolutely couldn't do it. And the interesting thing about Nerium is they have some of the best products out there, some of the top-of-the-line products. But if you don't have a company that's able to take you to where you need to go, then it doesn't matter how good those products are. It's interesting because people at the top of Nerium would always brag about that fact and that there are other marketing companies out there that were products of lesser value. But if you don't have the right management team in place, they can't bring you there. You're not going to succeed in the end. You might succeed in the short term, but you won't succeed in the long term. There's a couple of lessons that I've learned. There's a CD that actually Nerium gave me from Robert Kiyosaki, Business for the 21st Century. And one of the things that he has mentioned many times before is that failure is a part of growth. You don't win without failing. Failure is a process where you learn. You learn skills. Failure is a good thing. Failure sharpens you. It makes you wiser. It makes you stronger. And you're able to take the next step. You're able to find your way out of that failure. One of the things that Robert Kiyosaki has said is that during the times in his life when he was on the brink of bankruptcy where he brought a company up to several million dollars only for it to go down the tubes and then he had to find a million dollars to dig himself out he said he learned the most that he has ever learned through that process as an entrepreneur so I look at it as this is that I'm excited for my next adventure whatever that might be as far as a network marketing company for my first experience being in one, and I, I have the, I have the desire to stay in this for the long term, because it's not so much about a process of just to make money for the sake of making money, but it is a process where you learn more about yourself. You learn about how to better yourself and change yourself and change your paradigm and change your way of thinking. When you are able to do those things, then you succeed. And here's another thing. you got to keep this in mind. Is success based on a company that you're involved in? Is success based on a certain network marketing company that you decided to join? Or is success based on you and your desires and your dreams to succeed? So what did I get out of this process? Did I waste my time for an entire year? No. I gained skills. I have gained perspective. I have gained more of a, a more of a burning desire than ever to continue on, to continue to soldier on, to continue to reach those dreams and reach those goals. And take that opportunity when you hit those road bumps in your life to challenge yourself, to grow yourself, and to succeed. That's all I've got. I hope this helps.